Well, hello, hello. This is Janae at the Mystical Medic, finally appearing on camera, as requested by a dear supporter. She said, the readings are great, but I want to see you. I'm like, ah, you know what? Yeah, it'll have to be that sometimes, won't it? Anyway, I hope that you guys are um, stabilizing your energy after all these planets have turned direct. And uh, let's see what the Aries moon has for my air signs. I'm going to start with you, specifically the cardinal sign of Libra. Um, you guys jumped past Aquarius on support those first few days, so I'm going to give it a go and see what Aries moon has in store for you. So let's get moving. What do we got? Your feels, Libra, you're in some feels. Okay. And what do we need to know about those feels? Are, do you have a first house moon? Or is your mind-body connection getting stronger because now you're not so much in the feels or in the mind, but you're actually on the planet in your body? And a grand chi chi chine, I can't speak today. Must be that on-camera thing and Mercury turning direct, um, or not. Grand Trine, so Jupiter, lots of blessings, and overall energy, your destiny, Libra. Your destiny's calling, Libra. Will you answer the phone? I know those of you who actually are from the UK are like, what is this chick talking about? It's okay. I admire your accent. I think it's cool. I love accents from all over the world. So must be that Mercury and Sagittarius thing, right? Many cultures, many loves all over the world. Travel through your taste buds. Oh my gosh. Different cultures, different food. God made 8 billion of us for a reason. And if you don't believe in God, that's totally fine. I'm all about the universal energy as well. So Let's see what we got here, Libra. Emotions are running high. Well, yes, with all them cancer feels. So there may be a strong placement and part of your breakthrough. This is how I'm treating the Aries full moon. It's a breakthrough for all of us emotionally after being um, so far internal with all of these retrograde planets. So show the world the real you. Yeah. Full moon and Aquarius, fellow air sign support for your family. And luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Well, guess what? That, we're back to that Jupiter energy of that trine. And over, overall, it's a time for healing. So your destiny, Libra, has been to heal your emotions. Um, you're an air sign, so you're more comfortable in the realm of thought and thinking about others first. Uh, this seems like it's, I just heard, put your own oxygen mask on. And I was talking to a, a new good friend about that today. So putting on your own oxygen mask before you help others, before you dig into all those Venusian feelings about love, Libra, take a step. <laughs> Recognize that you must handle your own energy first in order to fulfill your destiny. And that's the honest to God truth. So, let's put some tarot on it, expand it out a little bit, let's jump right in, tower, yep, your feelings are completely illuminated, and this feels like it's more of a stronger mind-body connection, you're coming into knowing who you are through and through, a new mindset with help from the above, from all the energy around you. So be careful about who you have in your company. They can make or break. They can cause a break down instead of your breakthrough. And so if your pentacles are suffering because there's some um, need to look at healing in the aspect of loving yourself first, pay attention, okay? Overall, yes, have strength. Go talk to a Leo. If you're a Libra that has, um, I just heard a Leo stellium, there is something about their 
regal energy that you need to learn. Perhaps if you have, ooh, God, that was horrible. If you have um, Leo on one of your angles, because remember, cardinal energies are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. So if you've got Leo on one of your angles, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, at least look at where it is in relation to the other fire sign support of this full moon in Aries. It's in 27 degrees Aries, so, uh, so check that part of your chart and see what that's talking about. And yeah, your pentacles might be a little bit slow, slowest night of the deck, but you know, he's, he's feeling retrograde, right? He's feeling reversed. So that stagnant energy, the Knight of Pentacles is a Leo Virgo energy. So think back to what you were doing a few weeks back and, and whether it was helping you feel stronger or whether it was taking away from your strength. And maybe you feel limited by certain choices. Um, I just heard even, you know, food wise, not, not just about choices in love, but food wise. And if you're connected to something that is a habit that is working against you, you do better to take this King of Swords energy overall and cut those chains, break those chains, be the chain breaker. That's, that's something I, I truly believe in. So that's Capricorn and Aquarius energy on that. Uh, Libra, you've got a really good support from this full moon. Um, I'm gonna ask you to step into that courage. Like, go talk to a Leo, go talk to a Capricorn as well. Um, you know, Mars is what's ruling this particular moon and Mars and Capricorn is exalted energy because it breaks those chains and gets you into that divine love of self to where then, yes, you can share it with someone else. Uh, but it seems like your destiny is to learn how to put your own oxygen mask on and really enjoy the good feelings that come out of that. So I hope this helps. Um, I am going to move right along to the next cardinal sign. So that would be Cancer. And don't get me wrong, I could have started an order in some sort of respect, but because that Cancer card is there, that's what I'm going with. We're just flowing from one thing to the other. So I'm gonna put that there for right now. So that we move on two seconds. All right. So try to see what these readings are going to actually come into being with. There's so, there's so many different ways to do a tarot reading. All right. Let's see. What do we have? And seasons are changing. Seasons are, well, where I'm located in South Texas, uh, the, the cold snap we just had, it's awesome. Can't be mad about that. All right. <laughs> if you hear a creature in the background snoring gently, She's a beautiful little French bulldog. She doesn't belong to me. She's a family friend. And oh my gosh, she's the cutest little guard dog. She has no hesitation about letting you know what's up. So Cancer, what's the deal with family? What's the deal with mastering that? That's what you're learning. Well, depending on your placement, I was gonna say Cancer Rising usually has already mastered that. So, Cancer Moons are acting out primal energy, and Cancer Suns are learning what it means to be in the crab shell, what it means to take action, to Head into that Capricornian energy of boundaries. Boundaries. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's see. Let's reset that. Boom. Starting Cancer's read. All right. So let's see. What does this Aries moon have for you, Cancer? You guys. 
Oh man, there's, you know what? I've met so many different cancers. Um, you're all doing different things. International travel and gaming industry, um, chef, um, massage, Reiki. <laughs> So many different things. All right. So what does divine have for you to break the chains on with this Aries moon cancer? Sixth house routine. All right. <laughs> Mercury. All right. Mindset. Hmm. And Saturn return. So are you somebody who's around age 29 to 30 or 59 to 60? So that would be your second Saturn return. And wow, if I were blessed with anybody around 89 or 90 on YouTube, hey, who knows? And overall energy of transformation. So that's really awesome, Cancer. Let's see. What are we doing about this? Routine of mind and restructuring our lives. You know, Saturn return, I'm actually wanting to do a series and eventually give you the who, what, when, where, why on your Saturn return. That's going to be interesting, huh? We'll see. Sure is interesting to live through it. I'm actually witnessing somebody go through that right now, and it's not easy for any of us to restructure our lives, feeling like we're starting over at nothing with the unknown. So, Cancer. Supermoon, emotions are running high about your routine. Has something been just really disturbing for you? And, and we're at that scorpionic all or nothing point of transformation. What, what does that even mean? All right, a time for healing. Boy, everybody's getting that. And I know I shuffled these cards, so wake up. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So that's nice to know. And I believe that is, yeah, that full moon in Libra happens during Aries season. So have you been working on something since Aries season and now it's just coming into fruition or you're, you're having a new clarity around that and uh, work through your fears. Yeah. New moon and Scorpio energy. So, all right, we've already got double confirmation and we're right at the pinnacle of beginning. We're right at the pinnacle that... I'm not sure that sounded correct. What I meant was we're in a threshold of birthing transformation in Scorpio season. And we're a couple days, no, we're three days away from that. So those next 48 hours readings should be interesting, right? See what we uncover. All right. Let's see. Starting to run out of royalty free music over here. I don't know. <laughs> Gonna have to change it up. All right. Well, you're not nostalgic about it. That's good. Because sometimes we get a little stuck in the nostalgia and we, um, we get too much in the heart, not enough balancing it out with some logic, and then we can backslide into old funky habits, but if you're emotional about that, that means that there needs to be a daily routine of some sort, whether it's breath work, which can't even talk about that enough. It's amazing to feel out new areas of your mind body connection just through breathing because most of us aren't doing it correctly in the first place. So good on you. And okay. The, okay. This seems like you're not taking too long to make decisions. So that's a good thing. Whatever mental construct you wrapped around going after certain passions and making decisions, you're clearing that away. You're transforming it. So that's good. And now Venus is a little bit backwards right here, huh? So until certain things line up in your transformation and again these planets are coming out of retrograde in fact um that reminds me i don't know if we have another venus retrograde until next year but my point is 
in this transformation, there are certain things that you're working through instinctively, intuitively, intellectually, and that's going to bring you into your higher I am self so that you can have a complete transformation and come into a more purposeful structure mentally, emotionally, and physically in your life so that you can manifest things. And the Empress, until you take an overall leap of faith towards this transformation, she won't turn right side up. So allow that energy to help you. And let's see, we're just gonna clarify real quick, see what we can get. straight from the bottom of the deck. See what we get. All right. Yeah. Ace of Wands, new passion. So a new passion for a daily routine. There will be signs, synchronicities that I, I just heard that. And you will not remain stuck in this Leo Virgo energy of the Knight of Pentacles. You will begin moving forward, but first... It's about that transformation. While it's blocked, you're not going to be feeling as generous either, perhaps. Maybe you need to change that. Maybe that is what's in your way. If you felt like you need to hold on to things and, and you're not feeling as emotionally generous is what I heard more specifically. Cancer. So, you're being asked to... Sorry, I'm getting messages right at the same time. You're being asked to dig deeper on whatever you thought love was about because it's choice time. And sometimes you do need to choose yourself first before you can feel more relaxed into a state of complete generosity that relationships take. Um, if... I just heard, if you are somebody with with air at your ascendant or your descendant especially, pay attention to this part. This is something specific for you. So, take a leap of faith, own your choices of transformation and working through your fear. You don't want to stay stagnant. You really don't. So, that's me saying much love and many blessings, Cancer. We are going to move straight into, um, I'm going to say Aries. We're going to move into Aries so we can support that energy in that in this particular full moon. So, hang tight. I got to reshuffle some things. And then we'll move right along. All right. I didn't realize it was this late. I was just playing with the cards, having a good time. And cancer, cancer, you know, I've been doing a lot of work. I, I feel like um, for those that are really Taking the bull by the horns, literally. That's what I heard. Um, there's no turning back now. If you were to turn back, um, it would not be beneficial to you. You're at a point where, let's just put it this way, the labor of the baby has, has already mostly occurred. All you gotta do is push. We're at that part. And sometimes um, it does feel like you might not finish the job, but when you're rebirthing yourself, you definitely have to um, stick to it. It's not an easy job. That's why everybody's not clamoring to do it. And there's, I'm just going to say, when you connect to something other than yourself on, a, on an energetic level, because not everybody is religious or spiritual, and I can totally respect that. I certainly don't do things the way the rest of my family does. Um, and 
I've just found my own way. Besides, I was the kid in catechism classes that they didn't want to answer my questions, so. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see how my daughter navigates the school system and part of the whole spiritual system because, uh, yeah, there's going to be some conversations. Well, your daughter said this. Yeah, what'd you say? All right. Next. That mind, that Saturn, and Taurus. Oh, did I seriously shuffle the entire, yeah. It's because I was putting that out for Aries, that's right. forget for God's sake. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Aries, how's it going? Where do you masters of the universe? I just heard. I used to have this awesome English teacher in high school who would call us that. He was one of the coolest people I'd ever met. He's no longer on the planet, and I miss him dearly. Was he, was he an Aries? No. But I wish I knew his chart, because he was a Gemini. There's a reader out there that reminds me of him, and I started listening, watching that reader, because, um, yeah, it's like, JDS Tarot, you totally remind me of my favorite teacher in the whole wide world so sounds like them they're both gemini's it's creepy as heck anyway aries you masters of the universe pioneer energy those of you in the 12th house may not always feel like you show that and you guys have to usually overcome quite a bit to get that out into the world so here we go full moon in aries says this is what you're doing <laughs> Ah, uh, Scorpio energy. Well, that's the feminine side of Mars, so there you go. All right. Ah, uh, Libra, I balance. Okay. Balancing endings and beginnings. Death and rebirth. And you believe. What do you believe, Aries? What are we working with? We're working with what you have. Okay. So, I just heard somebody's progressed chart has a prominent Taurus signature. I don't know what that's going to be about. Let's take a look. Alright. Nothing is yet set in stone. This is a mutable energy for the moon. So, alright. We're in that in-between phase. Confidence is your key to success. New moon and Leo energy for that balancing. And a time for healing. What are you healing in your belief system? Hmm. Step out of your comfort zone. North node, okay. Now, if somebody has North node in Taurus, yeah, you, in fact, that I just heard the North node in Taurus right now, uh, especially with that Uranus energy, that um, potential for the visionary genius that rules Aquarius. But um, if there's a lack of discipline, that can get in your way. So let's see what we got. What does the tarot speak on it? Because nothing is yet set in stone. You know, usually when when you have a lot of fixed energies like Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, people get scared because you're immovable. That's what a fixed sign does. So, Tarot says, well, okay. 
You're not in a fighting mood about it, so that's good. Hmm. Were you manipulating a situation and you're no longer doing that? Or are you no longer putting up with somebody else's manipulation? That's possible. And especially if someone tried to erode your confidence, you know, you could be trying to make a comeback from uh, somebody else's energy throwing you off course for a while. And if that's the case, I applaud you for moving forward away from that. And yeah, you're, you're not feeling uh, stingy but you do need to heal like your beliefs your belief system is is going through a process and it's very uncomfortable and some of you may definitely be feeling left out in the cold um however i mean five is all about change these two people aren't working together so whatever you were dealing with that is not working for you yeah it's time to heal use Use everything in the planetary shadow periods coming out of those retrogrades to your benefit. So it's okay. It, it may take you a while. You're, um, you're a cardinal sign Aries. So to have all this Taurus here makes me feel like you might be a second house sun. So, you know, your beliefs, your convictions are usually extremely strong. And, you know... It could be that a it could be that a, a situation left you feeling ungrounded and quite lost and in, in, in a very mutable, more like Gemini kind of energy instead of um, you know your cardinal like let's just clear it out of the way and let's move on. So this moon is really helping you um, you know get back into your own energy, Aries. It's it's a moon that is about your energy, so. Whatever you walked away from, bravo. Keep moving forward. Don't doubt yourself. And yeah, don't get nostalgic and backslide. You're gonna hear me say that a million times on this channel. But yeah, you gotta move on. And yeah, <laughs> here's the kingpin. Cause if you're feeling like this, it's time for change. And that's going to propel you forward. But you gotta take these swords out of your back Take them out of your gut for the ones you decided to fall on in whatever that situation was. And overall, look at that. Is that Mars? That's Mars and Pisces. So your beliefs can take you to the top. But your mindset needs some work. So that you don't continue to stay in this energy. You don't really need to. I mean, I'm glad that came out to confirm that. So it's a new, yeah, and, and behind that was the Page of Swords. So a new mentality around your belief system and just cutting off old belief systems that don't work for you. So that's what I've got for you, Aries. Um, I hope this helps. And now... We're going to push along into Capricorn. So give me a second. Let me reset everything. And we can just drop everything on the floor. That works too. Um, I'm laughing because I just realized it's going to be a really late dinner. Going European, right? I've got family that, you know, they're older. They eat, they have the bluebird special, whatever they call it for older folks. And I'm like, that is too early to be eaten at four o'clock. I see you. I see who wants to come out of there later. We'll see. We'll see if that was valid, right? It's really quiet compared to where I usually am. And there's a hospital right up the street, so quieter than the hospital I'm used to. Capricorn, Capricorn, climbing the side of the mountain. No matter how steep, no matter how long it takes, you're going to get there. Amen to that.
We need to have some variety here. Okay. All right. I thought I had water over here, guess not. I've got no one to fetch me water. Told you, hey, theater background, maybe you hear things. Is there any other way to be? Not really. All right. So, dear Capricorn, what are we forecasting? What's this Aries full moon supporting you with? What is happening? Let me start the timer and not be sloppy. All right. <clears throat> Should I restart your reading on that? Yeah, let's do that. All right, Capricorn. We'll just do it that way. All right, Aries and full moon. What's happened since the last full moon that you're reaping the benefit from? What is, what's been going on? And what gifts are here? Let's see. Uh, Feelings, Capricorn is feeling, God. Watch out world, Capricorn's feeling things. We do feel things, okay? Sea goats, sea goats feel things, all right? We're more intuitive than people give us credit for, right? So all this waters, it sounds like fourth and 10th house balancing out. I was doing a reading earlier that was supposed to go in with this whole family of readings. Gemini, I think. Good job, Capricorn. So um, I accidentally deleted the, <laughs> the reading, but it was literally about heart and mind working together. So already I just heard Queen of Cups energy with this Gemini Cancer energy going on. And Capricorn, um, I can vouch for you on that. Let's just say Gemini North Node has not been easy and in some respects cancer north node a few years back was easier but um yeah this is this is wild this is why when i do personal readings i look at the draconic the tropical and the progressed charts so that way the draconic is like where your soul's chart has the perfect situation and you know if you were born into a different family what would that look like what energy did you need and so um sometimes that that chart reaches through the tropical in what you're progressing through so this will be interesting for some of you um full moon in libra a win-win outcome is forecast so for your feels that's that's really good nina simone i'm feeling good that just popped in my head yeah, go play that song. Enjoy it. Um, let's see. New moon. A new start is coming. That's over Capricorn. And confidence is your key to success with all of these water element sensing feelings sorts of thingies. And overall, nothing will come of this situation yet. Okay. So, yeah. Well, personally, hey, Gemini North Node is not over. Um... And void of course moons, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, you know, a baby just being in the belly, like not quite ready yet. Whatever's coming is going to come, but it's not the time. It's a matter of timing right now. So let us see what we've got from the tarot. Can't shuffle to save my life lately. All right, so, Kingpin, what's happening? I think until you balance the feels, Capricorn, you might feel a little bit like this. Is that confirmation? Is that confirmation, Rob? It is? Okay. That's what Rob says. So, in order to turn this right side up, you have to feel the feels, Capricorn. That's just necessary. All right? Because that's mastery. And when you're feeling so good, then you can make really good money. That's just 
par for the course, I guess. Knight of Wands. What happened? Him too? Scorpio and Sagittarius energy on this new start. So I, I, I'm hearing that might be a who. There might be someone with major Sagittarian energy. Yeah? Okay, Roz is just speaking on it. I'm going to go with what she said. Really? Well, what about this? This is Virgo energy, like not working. What about that? What do you think? Okay, you think about it. All right, so confidence is your key to success with all these feelings, but are you not confident about the work that it takes to get it done? Yeah, some, somewhere you're stuck. Um, let's put some confirmation on it. Let's see if Roz gives more confirmation. That was cute. Gosh, my family friend's going to make me want to get a pet. That's kind of one of those not right now things. I'm going to have to borrow Roz frequently. She's like, I don't know, lady. You just make sure you have treats. That's all I got to say. Um, no, I'm not taking that yet. Because that was a weird throw. Okay, hold on. That's too many. Can we not do that? Oh, well, those are the... Okay, I heard those are the three. Whatever. So, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. So, here we go. So, let's go back and read that now. So, you're trying out new ideas, Capricorn. And you're headed in a direction. It's more so about... Because these involve feelings and because it's still a win-win possibility, um, it is best to think before you speak. Sometimes we get emotional and then it's word vomit, which is not so fun. Now, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Um, Knight of Cups is Aquarius Pisces energy. Because both of those seasons involve Jupiter, it still feels so strongly Sagittarian or, or Piscean. Like, it's just strong. So pay attention to your dreams as well because there's, there's, there's some sort of new start that is undeniable. That's what I keep hearing, undeniable. Page of Pentacles, uh, you... you Okay, back to basics. Beginner's mindset is what I just heard. So in order to turn this Eight of Pentacles in the correct direction so that your, your confidence is going to get boosted by doing the work. And again, it's, it's feeling the feels. That's, that's your, you know, cancer is your opposite sign. So getting out of your head. Instead of just pushing through like Capricorns love to do. Um, get out of your head. It's good to see all sides of a situation before you take action, but start doing the work of the feeling because you, you can't intellectualize emotions. You have to feel it. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Roz. See? <laughs> so overall energy, queen of wands, she gets what she wants, right? It's a cycle. It's a cycle card, right? That's Pisces, third decan, and then fourth. Man, Capricorn, you better go for it. <laughs> you better go for it. Hey, calmate. Come here. <laughs> calmate. They agree. They agree. They're going to do it. They're going to do it. Roz has spoken. I'm not going to argue with that. Um, really, go after what you want. Be ready to feel good like this because that doing, doing the time out. I took this off. This is what was overall for that clarification. Look who came out right behind her. So Capricorn, power couple. And look at what the third card is. That's just crazy. Six of wands, that Leo energy. So 
Confidence, confidence, confidence. This is trippy, y'all. Yes. Capricorn, lap it up. Do the victory lap. Thank you, Ross, for your input. This is Janae at the Mystical Medic signing off. <laughs> Much love and many blessings. And uh, take care. I'll talk to you soon. Power couple. Man, cardinal signs. Y'all got it.